All right, we are ready to build our retail tower. So we just wrapped up reading The Bad Seed, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a retail, and we are going to build a retail tower using these blocks. Now, a lot of you have these blocks at home, so if you do, you can go ahead and grab a few, so that way you can do this with me and build your own retail tower. Um, you don't have to have the same colors, but I chose these colors so that way they matched my retail tower page here. So what does retelling the story mean? Well, it just means saying the story in your own words. It's as simple as that, okay? So we're going to go through, and since I know you were listening with a caring heart when I was reading this book, The Bad Seed, we're going to be able to retell the story. So let's start with the first piece. We have characters. So who are the characters in The Bad Seed? Yep, that's right, The Bad Seed. Um, you may have thought about the other seeds who had made comments to him or his family on the flower, um, but they just kind of made little appearances. So we're going to go with The Bad Seed was our main character here. So let's go ahead and take the next color, which is yellow. And this is the setting. So let's connect those. So I've got a really fun little song for setting. So you're gonna take your hands and put them together, kind of like a house, like a triangle. And you say, twinkle, twinkle, little star. The setting tells where the characters are. Can you sing that with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The setting tells where the characters are. So in the bad seed, where were the characters? Where was the bad seed? Yeah, so you might say he was outside, he was on his flower with his family, he was at the park. Yep, so there was a couple different settings and that happens in stories. So let's go ahead and take a look at our next cube. So that says beginning. So what happened in the beginning of the story, the bad seed? <clears throat> yep, so he was walking down the street. People were making comments about him being so bad. And then he said, do you want to know why I'm so bad? And he kind of let us know certain things that he does. He stares and glares at everybody. He never listens. So he kind of listed out all the reasons why he's bad. All right, let's take a look at our next color. It's another blue cube for our middle. What happened in the middle of the story? Yep, so in the middle of the story, we kind of find out more about his life and what happened before he became bad, as he says. So we find out he was living on a flower with his family, and all of a sudden, the flower drooped. We learn about the giant. Everything went dark. So that's our big problem, right? And that's kind of where he says that he woke up and he became bad. He tells us a little bit how um, after that happens, how he doesn't care about anything and he just almost gave up, which was a really sad part of the story, right? All right, the next cube is our last blue cube and this is the end of the story. So what happened at the end of the bad seed? So he basically tells us that he's made a decision to be better and to do better and to try every day. And he tells us how he still has some slip ups. He's not perfect. And I think that's, you know, really relatable um, that he's just going to keep on trying. And um, I love the last page. A couple of people were like, oh, there or a couple of the seeds were like, oh, there's the bad seed. And they're like, actually, I heard he's not that bad anymore. All right, and our last cube is for the heart of the story. So that kind of means, what was the story trying to kind of teach us? What was almost its lesson or message? All 
Right. Never give up. So the bad seed, definitely. So he went through such a hard time that we did not even know about. And a lot of the other seeds at the beginning didn't know. They kind of quickly judged him. And um, we have to be careful when we do that and try not to do that, really, because we don't know everybody's full story. And you need to give everybody a chance, right? So I think there was a couple different parts of the story or messages. Um, but definitely never giving up is a huge one. So if you said that, great job. Do you have any other ideas about the bad seed that you want to share with me? All right, so we just built our retail tower. Here's what it looks like. That was super fun. Um, this printable is actually a freebie. Um, it is in my 48 page at home learning invitation pack. Um, I am going to link it below. Like I said, there's over 40 pages of activities and ideas for you to use at home. Um, so definitely make sure that you go download this. Build a retail tower. All right, see you guys later.